Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Friday. It's me, ShadowXM1. And yes, if you notice, yeah, I got, I got a shave. I needed to badly. <laughs> I kind of messed up with my mustache and goatee, but my dad says I look okay. So hey, if he says I look okay, then I'll probably look uh, pretty darn good. <laughs> Alright, what's going on guys? It's the weekend. I am broadcasting from Shadow Someone's Garage, aka the Hobby Room, aka the Projector Room. As you can see, like before, you can see my dad's baby behind me. It is actually, it's actually kind of a hybrid. It's, it has, well, no, I'll, I'll, I'll take that back. I think just about, except for the lamp housing, I think just about everything on that is simplex. That's right. Ah, you heard my dad. I was right. So, so yeah, and everything you see there, the wiring and everything, I helped him with that. I wired everything in for him, and I set up uh, his own personal little power supply for his lighting system. I might even do something even, even better for him, like maybe rigging the LED light system for him so it's a little brighter and you can see what's going on. I don't know. We'll have to say. So, anyway. Let's see. Anywho. So, um, and if, you listen, if you're hearing that, yeah, my dad's listening to some stuff in there. But, hey, you know what? Just, just, no, never mind it. You know, he's listening to stuff. So I'm right, guys, I'm right in, in the hobby room. And his bedroom is right there. So, you know. Don't worry about turning it down. You're not bothering me, Dad. Okay. All right, let's see. So since it's the weekend, let's get back to Mr. King of Creepy here, Mr. King Frostmare. I was going to do these three the last time I was on, but one, I was too sleepy. <laughs> I kept nodding off as usual. So maybe I won't be nodding off this time. All right, so let's go start with the scariest of little videos that will revisit you tonight too. And don't worry, I'll, I'll upload my other one um, today too, so you guys can watch it as well. But let's go with the scariest videos that will revisit you tonight too, and we'll go from there. All right, you guys ready? All right, I think I'm ready. So without further ado, away we go. Oh, wait a minute. Before I forget, I almost forgot. Yep, that's what I thought. Let me shrink. There we go. So, hold on. How about I just go up here? Hopefully, I don't have anything in the way. And if I am, I'll have to. I'll move. Okay. All right. Back to Keith Frostware. This recording was sent in by Lewis, and he tells me that he found it in the paranormal subreddit. Apparently it was captured by a property owner who was waiting to catch the reason for some of the disturbances his family had to face in the past couple of nights. Ooh. The motion sensor turned on several times and activated their security cameras outside of their property. And it's only supposed to do that should it recognize either a human or animal. But each time the camera got triggered, nothing ever showed up on the safe recordings. 
However, the following night was different. And when the man checked the recordings in the morning, he found something really strange looking. What was strange looking? that a woman is walking into the screen from the right yeah. side, but how? Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see or not, but it's pouring down rain, too. So, so this is either a ghost or it's some crazy person out in the, out in the rain. I'm kind of leaning toward ghost. You know, so I know, you know, I know, you know, there are some video experts out there to talk about, you know, you know, the ring cameras and security cameras, you know, they're, they don't exactly, they can, they can glitch, making you, making it look like a possible person might be a ghost when they're not, but I don't know about this one. She must have been on the property already since the entrance gates to the left. Another oddity about this clip is that the woman just stops in her tracks and then disappears into thin air. Was it an artifact that was possibly caused by the rain? But that wouldn't trigger the emotion alert. No. Maybe the spirit of a lady who was visiting the property. Look at that. Guys, yeah, the gates are closed and it's pouring down rain. Yeah, I want to, I want to go with the ghost. The following clip was sent to me by Ayumi, and she told me that she had it in her collection for quite some time. It was recorded by two friends in a high school who were part of a dance class and were practicing some moves after regular hours in their classroom. Nothing really weird popped up at the time, and they didn't think that anything scary unfolded that afternoon. That is, however, after re-watching their dance rehearsal at home, they had to change their minds, as you will see for yourself in a minute. This has to be Japan. swore that nobody else was with them in the classroom. Ooh. Can you believe that? The potato camera says otherwise. A friend perhaps, or something otherworldly. A creepy encounter for sure. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah, that's what he'll say. That looks like a potato camera, but you know, you know, when you see it on them, the picture's pretty darn good. Hmm. I don't know. Well, they say that they were the only ones there. And um, the classroom being as spacious as it is, and the doors were there, they, they'd see if somebody came in. Oh, hmm. Remy's Nightmare. Earlier this week, we have taken a look at the haunting, oh, which takes yeah. place in the apartment of this Remy Coat. Poltergeist activity, as well as an eerie apparition, can be captured almost on a daily basis at this point. See that? She has asked for help on Reddit, but to this day, nobody was really able to help her. Last night, she has placed two camcorders to capture the latest happenings, and this is what was recorded. Listen closely.
for some reason, the ornaments which are mounted to the ceiling seem to be moved, just oh, like the plant yeah. underneath. And then watch between the clock on the wall and the picture. It seems to be getting darker there for some reason. And where do these noises come from? That's an EVP. Creepy for sure, but what really took the cake is the following capture that Raimi could come up with. She states, the shadow person was in my bedroom, next to the door where I captured the video. Could it be the same ghost figure she had caught on video earlier? What do you think? I'd say she needs her house exercised. The next was captured by channel The Oslaskans, and it appeared that a mysterious event has caused the man in the following video to actually get out his cell phone. He tells us about really odd noises he was hearing in the past couple of nights, and that he even noticed shadows in the corner of his eyes. Apparently he was situated in a pretty old building, and I assume he's at his workplace. That's Frostberry, you cut out. things first, checking that no other human soul is around. tries to make it towards the toilet stalls, you know, to possibly record proof that something is still lingering there. A scary looking face is peeking at our Ooh. camera. The eyes are reflecting in a suspicious way, which causes some commenters to believe this might have been a ghost. What do you think? Ooh. Was it a colleague of his that was pranking him that night? Or did this man capture something from another realm? Hmm. Good question. Um, 
The first series of videos were recorded by a user called Forlylicious Music. He has shared the following clip, which was recorded by his son. Apparently the young man woke up to one of his electronics, which turned on all by itself. hard to see, but there appeared to be something really creepy on it. Disappears. Does this appear like a face to you? Some say this is the case. It's like a skeletal face. That's creepy. But other stuff kept happening in their house. Around 3 a.m., Frolilicious woke up to some really inexplicable noises from the bathroom. He recorded the incident. This is what he saw. Stopped. cloaked figure is walking by very fast in the bathroom Whoa. unfortunately he did not go in and turn the light off to figure out what was going on I'll just say but what do you think happened here is this house haunted or is this just a prank I don't know if it's a prank that's one hell of a prank I'll just say that face you look real close, that face that's on that video, it looks skeletal, almost demonic, something otherworldly, so it doesn't look human, so yeah, it could be, I don't know. This video was posted by Nadok for real. He states that he moved into a new apartment, that he is sure that it is haunted. He hears voices in the middle of the night and even Ooh. sees shadows every now and then. He has placed several cameras in his place. One night, the following creepy message was left for him. What do you think? Ooh. Could it be the spirit of the former owner, perhaps? At least that's what some commenters suggested. Could it be? Well, that's pretty clear. Yeah. And we're back. As most of you know, a few weeks ago I started looking at the case of Remy Code, who shares uh -huh. her encounters oh. with a terrifying shadow apparition yes. on her Reddit We're profile. Back. She has placed several cameras in her apartment to capture all of this activity, which unfolds mostly while she is asleep. Tonight she believes to have captured a shadow moving out of a chair. Take a look. Remy states that it's not a reflection from the other side of the room. No, it's and not. since she was alone and sleeping, was it the same apparition that she had captured weeks prior? I Let bet me it know. was. I bet it was. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, that's pretty obvious right there. 
The following is a recording that occurred at a police station in Serbia around 9 p.m. at night. A woman entered the station and stated that she was being followed by somebody and that she doesn't feel safe. The police station was located just a couple of blocks away from her home. So instead of leading that stalker straight to her house, she filed a report. The officers were just filing the report about this mysterious stalker and actually thought that the woman might have been under the influence since she stated that this person was vanishing ever so often and that they were even floating sometimes mm. while she was still telling her crazy story. The following occurrence was captured on one of the CCTV cameras of the station. A strange white figure can be seen floating yeah. above the ground of the police station and nobody had an idea what was going on. Many people believe this to be the mysterious stalker that followed this woman into the police station. Wow. So, are we looking at a real ghost here or what was going on in that hallway? The officers stated that they had never seen such a thing on their screen. Your thoughts? Hmm, looks like a ghost to me. The next video was sent by Felix S. and he states that he found it on Taro Animasi. It was captured by a young woman one night while she was jogging. He told me that she has a body camera on her for security reasons since you never know what you come across alone at night. As she was starting her round that night, she noticed that somebody else seemed to be running right next to her. But what's really weird is that this mysterious person just vanished in front of her. Then we see this person again and as before no trace can be found. All of a sudden, that thing is running towards her, but backwards. And the woman is running away in fear. Some people say that it might have been a malevolent entity that wanted to spook the woman that night. Others believe it to be a film project. Who knows? Yeah, it's definitely that's terrifying. What I was thinking. I bet it's a film project. The following video was uploaded by user Bunnytoes. She states the following <laughs> unknown voice, unknown entity. A couple of years ago, I gave my old iPhone SE to my grandkids. Oh they like to take a bunch of pictures and videos, so I went through it to delete stuff to make sure they have space. I was going through their phone on Christmas Eve 2018 when I came across this video. The audio was the first thing that caught my attention, and after listening to it a few more times, I was super creeped out and posted it on Facebook. That appears right after the voice says, I'll be fine. My grandbaby and I were the only two home that day. My husband's grandmother had lived with us for almost six years before she passed. And the foot of where her bed was is where the figure appears. The voice on the recording does not sound like his grandma and the black figure looks way too big. She was a tiny woman. Coincidentally, this video was recorded the day before grandma's birthday. Nothing strange ever happened there for me to even suspect anything. This video shook me to the core though. After two years, this still creeps me out and I still think about this almost every day. Hmm.
guys think? Could they capture the spirit of their grandma here? Or was something else visiting from another realm? Maybe even a shadow person? No, a shadow person. Yeah, I almost want to say maybe a shadow person. If their grandma's not supposed to be that big. Jason has forwarded the following, which was uploaded by user galdenga 252 and she tells the internet that yesterday she stumbled over a strange capture that she took one night when creating a couple of selfies for her profile. Her parents were downstairs at the time and nobody else should have been present. After all, she would remember that, right? However, the back of her room says otherwise. In closer inspection, there was another person with her, which freaked her out a ton, and she's looking for help on the internet. Let's take a look. A woman is sitting oh right behind yeah. the upload, and people have pointed out that it is quite freaky how her eyes are just two dark holes, yeah. but we shouldn't forget that it could be due to the awful lighting conditions in the room. She also appears to be holding something, or if you want to believe other comments, might be even missing her left hand. So what are we looking at here? Just a friend of hers, sitting in the back, that seems creepy due to the camera angle, or paranormal apparition. more like a paranormal apparition. This clip was sent by Andrea and she said that the following man was on a round trip and apparently noticing mysterious events unfolding in a public restroom. It is unclear what noises actually caused the man to get out his cell phone. But right after, he captures the first activity. This is certainly pretty creepy. Yes. I bet the man thought the same at the time. As he checks out the stall, that seemed to be empty at the time, he documents every little detail. Could you record a ghost lady in the mirror? Was she also tampering with the door of the stall? Hard to say. Definitely not the cameraman. That's definitely not the cameraman. Hmm. That's already pretty creepy right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Alright guys. Yes. That was the scariest videos that we'll revisit you tonight part two. By King Frostmare. Alright. So say it's a good thing you probably can't see the bottom of my of the work desk right now. It is a mess at the moment. I was able to salvage a bunch of stuff from one of my one of the old Orcon amplification systems my dad had that he no longer wanted. He wanted to get rid of to get rid of it, especially the scrap metal, because we have a recycling area that's that uh, takes scrap metal. But he knew that I was into electronics, 
So I said, hey, if you can salvage whatever you can find. So I did. I've got quite, I've got some, some very unique finds here. And I bet I can probably use all, all of them. So, yeah. From knobs of potentiometers to auto, um, socket systems, you name it. Lights, a rotary switch, an on off on toggle switch, yeah. So, yeah, I've got a, I was able to get a bunch of stuff from this, this salvage. Uh, and I'm, I'll probably be able to use a lot of it too. No problem. So, yeah. That's a big toggle switch right there. So, without further ado, I don't know whether this has. Well, it might have. I'll check in a little bit. But anyway, alright, let's move on to the next one. The scariest videos you could not unsee. Alright, you guys. Ooh. No live yet. Or it doesn't look like it. Nope, no live yet. So maybe. If I catch it just right. I'm not sure exactly when he starts to to go live, but I tell you what, one of these days we're gonna we're gonna uh, react to one of his live videos. Cause they know me pretty well, so I'll tell them, hey, we're live right now. We're hey we're hey we're 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 watching we're reacting to the live and broadcast. So maybe we can do that sometime. But right now Let's go to the scariest videos you cannot unsee. All right, you guys ready? I know I am. So without further ado, away we go. This video comes from Reddit user Flickscreen. He caught this footage late one night with a security camera outside his house that monitors his vehicles. He claims that there have actually been strange occurrences regarding this truck before, including the tailgate opening on its own one day, for really no reason at all. He also has a running joke that the truck is haunted or cursed, although he says he's not sure if these are just jokes anymore. Let's see what happened. Footage clearly shows the driver's side door of Flick's truck opening on its own, yeah. which is creepy enough. However, viewers noticed that there appears to be some sort of apparition directly next to the door. Yeah. It's important to note that the uploader yeah. also specified that this never happened to this door before, and mechanically there's really no reason for this to occur. A strange shadow can clearly be seen drifting towards the truck and evaporates yeah. only moments before the door opens. Is this a spirit caught on camera? Maybe the entity messing with the truck of his. A very interesting capture, and I'd love to hear your thoughts. And he says that maybe this this entity, you know, maybe his, maybe the vehicle that that this ghost he's turning around in was a pickup that looked just like his. You know, you never know. Maybe that's the case. If it is, it makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. I don't know, weird. All right, moving on. Big shout out to Kamikoro Knives for sponsoring today's Check video. Out, if you are in the market for amazing steel kitchen knives, this one is for you. Kamikoro is producing durable and razor sharp Japanese steel kitchen knives and tap into more than 800 years of traditional techniques from Japan. They only use steel that is directly sourced from Japanese mills. Each single bevel edge blade is carefully crafted, perfected and inspected and their techniques have been honed and perfected over many generations. The knives are safely stored in a beautiful heavy-duty ashwood box, which not only looks very high quality, but it also makes the knife set a wonderful gift 
They have a vast array of Japanese steel knives, such as this three-piece Kenpeki knife set, which comes with an Akiri vegetable knife, the slicing knife and this very handy utility knife. Make sure to give their website store a visit to find a vast array of amazing items. I still remember opening the knife box for the first time and how impressed I was by the professional look and the perfect and comfortable weight distribution in my hand. Their expert bladesmiths forge and shape the steel into hardy blades with an extremely sharp and fine edge. To maintain this sharp edge, you should also consider one of Kamikoto's sharpening whetstones. Great service is very important, which is why Kamikoto responds to every client's need as quick as possible. And they even offer you a lifetime guarantee on each of their knives. They are currently having an extended New Year's sale. And on top of that sale, you can get an additional $50 off any purchase you make with discount code KINGFROSTMARE. Click the link below or go to kamikoto.com slash KINGFROSTMARE and use promo code KINGFROSTMARE to save an extra $50 today. Mm. Ooh, Let's now take a look at an investigation by Signs and Signals. In their previous visit to this abandoned home, the duo found a mysterious box there. Not knowing what it was, they brought it home and opened it. Many viewers, however, warned the pair that the box appeared to resemble a debug box. An item that is haunted by the spirit of someone who has passed on. According to legend, the spirits that inhabit these items also have the ability to possess people as well. The man decides that the best course of action is to return the box to exactly where they found it. Let's see what happened. Alright, so Dave is going to make the new seal. Just do what they had here. Put it back, they had it in the middle. Okay. Um. We need you to get back in the box. Dude, did you fart? No, I smell that too. That stinks. Dude, that smells so bad. I know you farted. No. Oh. That smells pretty bad. It is often said that when a foul smell inexplicably appears in a haunted location, that a demon or other nefarious spirit is actually very close. And it is the smell of death itself you are smelling. These were not the only strange occurrences of the night, however. Dude, that shit's on the ground now. It's on the ground. Dude, it's spinning, man. Near the end of the investigation, they unknowingly capture this chilling sight. Do some crazy sh dude. Yeah. Yeah. Look off, but how did that thing turn <laughs> Straight up, bro. That's some I ain't messing with you. corner of the room, a strange shadow can be seen. It seems the man didn't notice it while filming. Mm. However, when we look closer, he definitely appears to be in the shape of a person. Is mm. it possible this shadow figure is related to the box that the team returned to the home? Probably. Luckily, it doesn't seem the spirit attached itself to either man, as is the risk with meddling with haunted objects. Make sure to give signs and signals a watch if you can. Mm. Oh, maybe. Give them a try. Oh, my this next clip comes to us from La Dimension Obscura. Not much is known about the context surrounding the clip. All that is really known is that the girl featured in the video was practicing a dance for her TikTok channel. And she captured this strange sight. Let's take a look. you spot it? While the girl is dancing, no, 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 no. it's easy to see that she's entirely alone. There's definitely no one behind her in the hallway. For only a brief moment, however, a figure can be seen behind the woman's shoulder. Oh, no. Disappearing again quickly after. 
I believe this entity moved too quick to be a regular human. There's something yeah. truly haunting about the creature's grey appearance. Yeah. It seems that spirits appearing behind people as they are filming harness clips is not quite so rare anymore. Is it possible, with the rising popularity of video making, that we are simply catching spirits that have always been there? Let me know your theories. Maybe. Do you think this is an actual spirit? Or was it just a family member in the background? Mm, I don't think so. I don't think so. This next clip comes to us from the channel Really Haunted. The owner, Lee, has been documenting the strange paranormal events that have been occurring in his house for quite some time now. It is not unusual for Lee to experience poltergeist activity, such as objects moving on their own, orb captures, and unexplained sounds. This video is a bit different, since Lee seems to capture actual footage of the spirit that is wreaking havoc on his home. In the video, we see Lee sleeping on the couch in his living room. According to him, this was just after he had read the prayers of St. Michael in an attempt to exorcise the spirit or spirits. However, he believes this really had no effect other than angering it. Let's take a look at the paranormal capture from this night. Let's see. Ooh, got a black orb. That's not good. Another, ooh, got another black orb. That's definitely not good. A large and strange shadow materializes in the center yeah. of the room and makes its way slowly towards the couch where he is sleeping. It's hard to say if this is related, but as the spirit is approaching the couch, a dark orb lands near Lee's face yeah. and actually seems to steer him from his sleep. This may just be a coincidence, but I find it very interesting. Yeah. The shadow seems to lean over Lee before making its way back. Oh yeah, now you can really see it. And in class poltergeist Ooh. form, knocking some objects over before disappearing. What do you guys think about this capture? Are we witnessing a legit haunting here? I think so. seem to want to harm him yet. The following video was uploaded by user Google Meepy. He pulled his footage from the security camera in his backyard while he was just scrolling through the video feed. He noticed this strange motion event that caught his attention and he's never seen anything like it before. On any of his security cameras, he has no reasonable explanation for what he's captured here. On the right side of the screen, in the backyard, a strange orb-like shape is seen, floating yeah. towards the dark corner of the yard. The white orb seems to change shapes, shifting into what almost looks like a person walking, and then suddenly disappears. Yeah. Even more interesting, it seems that somehow, the spirit actually activates the motion lights in the user's backyard before disappearing. Yeah. There's definitely something eerie about this footage. What could this possibly be? Yeah. It's a ghost. It could be just a video glitch. Now let's take person. a look at a clip from Dark Ghost Paranormal. Ah. In this video, Dennis is once again exploring yes. a very old abandoned home. This is the second time Dennis visits this particular location. Apparently, there have been reports of haunted activity surrounding the house, including strange sounds coming from the inside, as well as reports of people being seen inside the house, although there should not have been anyone there. This house has also been inflicted with a terrible fire many years ago. Strangely enough, it is said that the fires were self-ignited, with absolutely no signs of arson. For this investigation, Dennis focuses mainly on the first floor, where the fire broke out. 
leaves camera one in a stationary location, a hallway, said to contain a lot of negative energy, and uses camera two to investigate around the house. Let's see what he manages to capture. Dennis captures something really intriguing from camera one as he's walking through the hallway. He's walking away from the camera, filming, as an incredibly dark shadow is seen flying past him down the hallway. The shadow really couldn't belong to Dennis or any no. of the objects in the room. No. And you can even see the way the shadow seems to go right through him. Could this be the same shadow creature that Dennis caught last time he visited the home? Probably. Ooh, yeah. Who can say for sure? But as always, a really creepy visit. That was cre that is creepy. The following video comes from user Doko Mystery. It was actually from the show Most Haunted, which is a ghost hunting TV series from yeah, England. Most this clip was taken from an episode where the team was investigating a haunted house. Yeah, if you if you want to, you want to see an interesting uh, haunting show, yeah, definitely uh, definitely uh, check out Most Haunted. They have they got they get in some interesting. They did some interesting things during their investigations. <laughs> Ironically, the camera had actually been placed on a table and they weren't meant to capture anything at all at the time. Hey. Oh! Cameraman places the camera on the side of the counter and quickly we notice movement coming from a small doorway yeah. in the middle of the hallway. A figure in the shape of a man can be seen walking away from the yeah. camera. And, he just... and as he walks up the stairs, we notice he appears to be somewhat transparent. Yeah. Who notices as well? And of course and go he running just after the spirit. And of course they go running after the spirit to get a better look. But unfortunately, the entity has disappeared by the time they make their way to the stairs. Most Taunted claims this is the most concrete evidence of paranormal life that they've captured. But what do you think? Wow. Some people say this is just a poor fake. But it has never fully been disproven that this was in fact not a real ghost capture. What do you believe though? A true ghost sighting or just another hoax? I might be a real ghost sighting because he disappears. He's semi-transparent. Let's take another look at Dino Nugget 741. Oh, Dino has been experiencing terrifying paranormal oh, activity in this yeah. home for a few months now. He has been documenting it for all of us on his channel. Recently, he had a few oh, more strange yeah. events occur that he's caught on camera. We will be looking at two of them today. The first happened in December. Dino filmed his home after leaving as an experiment to see if paranormal events would occur, even if no one was home. I don't know what the point of this is, man. If I'm not here, Ooh. Well, something's got the dogs riled up. It seems clear that whatever spirit is haunting this home seems to be active, even if the residents aren't home. Mm. 
The strange shadow creature can be seen peeking from the side of the wall before quickly disappearing. Then we see the sink mysteriously turn on on its own. And finally the camera is actually knocked down by some unseen force. Do you think the shadow figure seen in this clip is responsible for turning on the faucet and knocking over the camera? I think so. The next clip Dino posted occurred a few weeks later in January no. of this year. He was relaxing one evening in his living room when he thought he noticed movement coming from near the front door. Dino pulled out his phone to record quickly. Come over now, huh? Shit! That's not good. It's cold in here. In the darkness, a strange shadow can be seen moving around near the door. Dino, of course, gets up to investigate and turns on the light as well. In classic fashion, the spirit is gone before Dino yeah. can manage to get a clear shot. Some viewers wonder why Dino always seems to run towards the entities. To which he responds, We go because we have to make sure there isn't an intruder in the house. Family safety well, yeah. is most important. Yeah, I understand that. What a creepy situation Dino finds himself Man. in. Let's see what will unfold in the future. Mm. Mm. Birthday boy. The following picture was sent by Joseph M. and it unfortunately is not further known from where it stems originally. It is said that the picture was taken by a family member. The mother in the picture was just about to serve the birthday cake to her little boy when something rather creepy appeared in the mirror. Ooh. Looks like another boy is present right next to the child's mother. Nobody knew this child, however, and the family speculates that this could have been a ghost child. Mm -hmm. Could this be so? If it wasn't just a weird reflection from somewhere, what else could have been the cause yeah. in your opinion? Scary to say the least. Yeah. Family. This next clip comes to us from the Dark Dimension. The story goes that a man was walking home around 2 a.m noticed something strange in the distance. It looked like a woman. However, according to the man, she was inexplicably tall. And there was something odd about the way she was walking. The man stated that the woman froze him in fear and he felt completely unable to move for a few minutes until she had passed. The man also noticed that it appeared there were three children with the woman, one in her arms and two walking. Why does the woman appear to be in grayscale, while the rest of the film is colored so regularly? Is it possible this is simply a very tall woman walking with her children or something paranormal? Mm. Commenters seem torn on this one. I'm not too sure about this. Could be a ghost. Let's go to the next one. 
Yeah, the scariest videos that will revisit you tonight. Alright, hopefully not. But yeah. Alright, you guys ready? I know I am. So without further ado, away we go. The next video was sent by Annabelle and she states that she found it on the website of Point Paranormal who were holding an investigation in the home of user Jaybird who is living in a supposedly haunted apartment. He can hear strange noises in the nights and even documented shadow sightings. The team from Point Paranormal installed a camera in his bedroom that night to capture anything strange that might occur. And after Jaybird went to bed, there is a really odd capture indeed. Something is pulling the blanket off of him. While he attempts to pull it back up, there's something else going with the blanket. Take a good look. Is it possibly an arm belonging to an apparition that's pulling that blanket? Really hard to make out since the resolution is not the best. Yeah. And just a couple of minutes after that, the blanket is being pulled again. In this case it's a bit more easy to make out the shape that seemingly manifests its whole upper torso and that keeps dragging the blanket. Really a fascinating capture. What's your explanation for this incident? Hmm. The team from Point Paranormal and Jaybird himself is sure that they could capture a paranormal incident here. Yeah. Could that be so? I think so. Yeah, it looks like a ghost. Okay, so this is from June 2016, when my aunt and uncle were on a ghost tour through Waverly Hills. My aunt Ooh. was snapping pics of most, if not all of the rooms through the tour. She oh, Waverly Hills Sanatorium, oh boy. Did so just in case anything were to appear, Ooh. such as in this picture. Both my aunt and uncle confirmed there was nobody in the hallway when she took the photo. He mm. says it makes sense though, as this was the room where all the kids would play. Just a side note, my aunt and uncle are clearly very into the paranormal, supernatural and the like and would never fake anything. Mm. Honestly, I'm not even sure if she could fake a picture like this if she tried. Could the two capture the spirit of a little child here? Some viewers stated that the legs are really tiny as opposed to the rest of the body, which makes this capture even more eerie. We all know that countless ghost captures have been taken at Waverly Hills. Mm -hmm. And sometimes some even weirder pictures too. Following is a recording that a user named Introller has captured while being on vacation with his family. He states, my family and I were on vacation in DC and we went to the Menaces battlefield. We videotaped there. And later that day, we were watching the tape and we noticed the woman, dressed in white, walking along the fence line. There were no reenactments going on that day, mm. and we didn't see her there. If you look to the left of the house, you will see a small black fence with a marker that encloses the grave of Mrs. Henry, her daughter and her son. The ghost is walking away from the graves to just an open field. We are convinced that this was a paranormal experience. Now let's take a look at that. There's a firing for the Union Brigade. Some brigade that protects the old chimney house. Oh. So Mrs. Henry, 84 years old, an invalid in the house. Hmm. I'm 
certain that all of us can see the lady in white. Oh, yeah. It is I mean, always if hard to real distinguish person, they would have seen it. Between just the regular person that was there at the time and something otherworldly, if we believe the uploader. Yeah. It was in fact nobody else around, which in my personal opinion, I do believe. Because you most certainly would notice another person there. Then he might have actually come across an apparition from another time period. Perhaps visiting the grave of our loved ones, mm -hmm. or just walking along a familiar path. What do you think? Could it My be legit? Pain? Well, I think it's legit. If it was a real person, they would have noticed her. Family reunion. The following video was sent by Sophia, and it features a mother who caught her son playing around with her cell phone. Which in itself is nothing out of the ordinary. He does this all the time. This day though, he pressed the record button while he was playing around in the house. And his mom, Teresa, was taking care of some errands. The recording was found afterwards when she noticed that there was a new thumbnail in the camera roll. So she hit play on that video. Ooh. An elderly lady can be seen playing with her son. It's a bit unsettling though, as Teresa is 100% certain that it is in fact her own mother who had passed away two years ago. So how is that possible? I mean there clearly seems to be something wrong with the skin around her eyes. And the eyes are pitch black. So in my book this could be a legit capture. I've heard many so. stories about videos like that. Aww, she just wanted to say hi to her grandson. Is it just a person that is looking like her late mother? Ooh. But how could she have made it into the family's house? Exactly. Let me hear what you guys think. I think it's her, I think it's his grandma. Keeping an eye on him while she was away. The following was documented by Edward and shared on his very own TikTok account. He began filming for his video diary after moving into a new place that, in his opinion, was clearly haunted. Loud bangs in the midst of night and objects being moved were part of the regular activity that the man had reported. Apparently, the gentleman that was living in this place before had left a ton of religious items, a sign that something might have been wrong with this place. What freaked him out most lately was that something was able to open the door without anybody else being there. That's beginning to get worse. I can rarely get a full lunch. Oh, that's not good. I'm going to get home late. Lock the door behind me. But lately something, lately something has been unlocking and opening it. I'll usually wake up in the next morning to find the door wide up. Oh, that's not good. Nothing was ever taken from the, my garage, and I found no other signs of a burglary. So I set up my super bright work light facing the door and decided to stake it out to try and capture the event on camera. Hmm. In this video, Edward believes to hear something that shouldn't be there. I'm going to be documenting as much as I can. If you're interested, feel free to stay tuned. If you are religious, pre please pray for me. Ooh. I started recording a snap to send to my friends and caught this by complete accident. Sound on. I thought at first that it was the door creaking, but I'm not certain if that's what it is. Do you think the man is living in a haunted place? Uh -huh. Let's keep an eye on that case. 
nothing was ever taken from the front of the of the south of Berlin, so, so. Uh, in the haunted place. Let's keep an eye on that case. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The following is a video diary that was captured by Sam. He has shared these terrifying events on his channel. In the hopes to find answers from the community. He had no clue what he was dealing with at the time. It all started with a really odd Polaroid that he had taken. He stated, I took a Polaroid about a week ago with a camera I found while cleaning out my basement. Mm. The photo looks okay, but there's some odd black blurry mass in it. Not sure what it is, so I went to some subreddits to ask if anyone knew. No major answers, so I figured I'd make a video and try to explain better. This is the original Polaroid that I took. Nothing about it has been changed, tampered with in any way. Um, what I noticed originally was right here. I don't know if you can see it. I'm no, not exactly sure what change. this is. Uh, at this point, your guess is as good as mine, but I really would appreciate um, just some help to figure out what it is and mm. if you should be worried or not. I took a few photos with it. The film, I guess, was really old. It wouldn't develop properly. It kept like coming out all brown. So I went to the store, found some film for the camera, took a few more photos just to make sure that the camera wasn't broken. I know for a fact there was nobody there when I took that photo. I wanted to show you all from the outside where this thing would have been standing when I was taking that photo. So, yeah, right around here. Because if I'm sitting there, aiming the camera this way, right where I'm standing right now is where it would have been standing. It does look like somebody was standing there. It certainly wasn't a tree, however. Really strange. And it made Sam wonder. Mm -hmm. A few days later, he comes back with another video that he had taken that night. Apparently, loud knocking sounds the past nights have kept him quite alarmed, he states. I went outside last night to walk around the property, which I've been doing since the knocking the other night, to see if anyone was trespassing, and made sure to lock the door behind me. As I was about to head back inside, I saw someone standing in my bedroom window. Oh my God. Is this the same shadow figure looking outside the window from the inside of his bedroom? He goes into the house to check right after, but it appears that no one was there. That he wasn't quite sure what to do at this point. Shortly after, the power went out in the house. This is when he gave us another update. Lost power last night, so I went down the basement to check the breaker box. On my way back up, I heard something coming from the laundry room and went to check. What I saw proved to me that there's something in my house. So we have to ask ourselves here, did something malevolent make it into his house? Something that is playing tricks on him? Some paranormal entity? But what exactly? What is your idea? Oh no. Hmm. So see that again. I want you to prove it to me. I want you to close one of these doors. Come on! So we have to ask ourselves yeah. here, did something malevolent make it into his house? Maybe. Something that is playing tricks on him? Some paranormal entity? But what exactly? What is your idea? Oh no. Now we're 
following along Dark Ghost Paranormal to one of his latest creepy adventures. Tonight he traveled to an abandoned two-story building which was recommended by another of his subscribers. It's empty for quite some time already but the viewer stated that tons of paranormal activity had been documented in there. Dark was really keen on finding out if any of these claims were true and as per usual he was setting up his equipment ah, after arriving. After a few hours in, some strange activity started to happen. Oh. A cupboard is slamming forcefully. While Dark is exploring one of the other rooms, Camera 2 is capturing the following. Ooh. A strange shadow is appearing. Is it possibly yeah. following Dark into the room here? One in the kitchen captures it another time while Dark is exploring. Oh, yeah, we, want, we saw this a while ago. Mm, it manifests itself. It manifests itself, grows dark, it grows bigger and darker. Whoa. Dude, that's creepy. sudden his camera is being pushed towards him and something drains the power of his flashlight. Ooh, that's not good. In pitch darkness, Dark tries to find his way back downstairs. The only thing he could think of was using one of his stationary CCTV cameras to see what's going on. Yeah. After this, Dark decided to leave this place and he wants to know if you guys would like him to return to his house. If you can, check out the whole investigation on yeah, this channel. Yeah, I'd leave this place too. <laughs> I wouldn't stay, I wouldn't stay along. While originally checking on the cattle, the following man caught this on his camcorder. Hmm. It's just a stranger and a weird outfit on its property. Or something inexplicable, maybe. Probably just an intruder, right? Hmm. It's Slendy. He's, he's just outside enjoying the fresh air. No, he's had to be inside and do the epi epidemic, too. You know, he's, he's just enjoying the fresh air like everybody else. <laughs> 
Audrey has shared the following recording. She states that her uncle is currently working at the infamous Cecil Hotel. As many of you know, many tragic events have unfolded in there. Her uncle found the following quite unusual. Whoa! Nobody else but him was walking on that floor at that time. And it was closed due to the renovation work. People speculated that it might have been poltergeist activity that was moving the doors here. Maybe a former resident that didn't appreciate the renovation work. Mm. If it wasn't staged, what else could this have been? Good question. A man was recording his girlfriend while she was taking a shower. What he captured afterwards started him to the core. just a friend that stuck into the bathroom when we didn't see it. Maybe. Maybe not. Sure, maybe. The following captures have been sent by Andreas. He says that he found it in the paranormal reddit section and the uploader was quite concerned, he stated. We were at a family reunion, reviewing the old family albums, and we came across a photograph of my oldest son when he was just four years old. Behind him appears a black shadow, which nobody noticed. Mm. Those eyes. Ooh. A pretty terrifying sight. Ooh, Shortly that. after, in another picture of my little cousin, we saw this. Ooh. This creepy shadow thing seemed to appear again. Who or what are we looking at here, guys? Is it possible that a deceased family member was visiting? Or was it perhaps an evil entity? Guess this one will stay a mystery. TikTok user Lauren Rose 867 started filming one night oh. when she felt that her cat was acting pretty unusual. She was a bit estranged and in the end kept staring against the ceiling. Oh, that was that shadow was creepy. Yeah. Mm. As if the animal felt something, or maybe even see. Well, this was taking Probably. place yeah, in a strange occurrence unfold, for which Laura had no explanation for at the time. Okay. Have you seen that? What on earth is floating by behind the couch there? Ooh. Lauren appears to have captured a shadow apparition, which is creepy on its own, but was it also responsible for all the noises? 
and even catching her cat's attention. Maybe it was just the beginning of something that will keep unfolding in the future. Viewers have pointed out that it might be a family member, but I feel the floating nature to this thing almost rules out a natural person just walking by. What is your opinion? Thank you guys so much for watching. Mm, wow. Good question on what that thing was. Oh, that's weird. All right. All right, guys. That was the scariest videos that we'll revisit you tonight. All right. Let's see. You know what? I think that's going to be enough for right now. I'm going to stop right there because my dad's listening to his podcast. I don't want to interrupt him any more than I probably already have. So, I'm going to go ahead and stop for right now. And uh, we'll do some more of this later on. As a matter of fact, I probably need to go and get some groceries before it gets too cold. So, I'll do some more later on, guys. Don't worry. Uh, we'll do some some garage stuff. We'll do some model kit stuff too. Um, until then, I'll see you in the next video. You guys be safe, and you guys stay awesome.